Hello again. I pretty much speak about our behavior, the way that Christians should be, the way that everyone should be, even if you don't want to be Christian. If we follow Christian principles, I believe the whole world would be so much better. Honestly, let's say you don't want to believe in God. Let's say you have hate for God or whatever. That's your choice. But if everyone would follow Christian principles, Christian principles, I believe this world would be amazing. Anyways, let me get to my point. Well, let me say this first, or second, third, or whatever. If you truly want to raise higher in God, I believe, if you want to be a better Christian, you have to work on yourself. You have to change the way you are to the way that God wants us to be. For many of us, we probably started off as being selfish not really caring so much about others but ourselves whatever makes us happy and if we don't get in trouble for it we are going to do it even if it may hurt others that may be true for many people when you truly begin to live for jesus christ and truly go by you know, if you read the New Testament of the Bible and go by it, I believe bit by bit, you will begin to change. I don't think it will ever be a quick overnight change to where you snap your fingers and boom, you have changed. I don't think that is true for many of us. So I believe it is going to take time. But I believe if you do it rightly, you may see yourself progressing, which is good. For myself, I was really bad at one time. Now, I am so much better. Not to say I don't do what is wrong from time to time. You know, I make mistakes too. I am not perfect. But from how I was 10 or more years ago, I am so much better now, so much better. Some people may say I am a pushover, some people may say I am like a pin cushion. That is okay. I know some things that are written in the Bible. I know we have to be a certain way. And if you be that way, will you be used? Of course. But We can protect ourselves, but even if you are used, in a sense, you win in the end. Anyways, let me get to my point. You don't always have to speak your opinion. Did you hear what I said? your opinion don't always need to be heard you may say uncle kev when i was younger my mom said this my dad said this my counselor said this pretty much telling me that uh you should be able to express yourself 
you should tell the other person this and that, you know, you should be able to blah, 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 blah. Yes, in the perfect world, I mean, in a perfect world, you should be able to express yourself positively, not doing it in a very bad way. You should be able to express your opinions. But depending on who you are dealing with, you may not be able to say anything. If someone is doing something wrong to you, and let's say that you come up to that person and tell that person, hey, you did this right here, and you did that, you know, that really hurts my feelings. Please don't do it again. A person who doesn't have the right mind may say, what I did to you was no problem. Or maybe that person may believe the bad they did to you is not bad. So let's say that person continues to do it and you come up to that person again to tell that person to please stop. And what if that person reacts badly to what you are saying? Let's say that the situation gets super bad. Are you going to continue to confront that person? Or maybe go down another road to try to fix the issue? In some cases, you should not say anything. If you know a person is a knuckle-headed person, someone that is super stubborn, someone who is hypocritical or may have some type of mind issue, stay away, be quiet. For instance, I was in a disagreement with a person and I would think what I was telling that person, the information I was giving that person, I think that person should know about it. Okay, even if that person does not know, there is a particular way two people should behave when there is a disagreement. Should I start yelling at you because I disagree with you? Should I clap my hands and move around all aggressively if I disagree with you? If you say something I disagree with, should I turn around my body and, and do like this or, uh, and do all that stuff like that? That is immaturity. That is, in a sense, childlike behavior. That person wanted me to consider what that person was saying. That person wanted me to, I think, obey what that person is saying but when it came down to some things i said it seemed like that person did not really want to consider it so you want me to hold weight like hold it to my heart what you are saying, but some things I am saying, no, 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 no. What is that? I'm not saying everything happened in that exact way, but what, what is that? 
You want me to see you way up here, but you see me, in a sense, way down here. So I should, you know, not to say, you know, not praise you as a God or like that, but I should like, you know, look up, you know, to you and, you know, and whatever else. But when it comes down to some things I say, you can't be right. If you want someone to be serious with you, you should be serious with that person. If you want someone to consider what you have to say, you should consider what they have to say, even if you don't like it. You are talking to me and I don't like what you are saying. So I turn my head and, you know, and do this and uh, roll my head and stuff like that. And let's say you don't like it. But when it is my turn to express myself, you do the same or worse. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Anyways, to get back to my main point, a person like that, you don't always have to express your opinion because what they may do at times, I guess, is throw what you say into the mud, into the trash heap. Let me tell you something about God. Well, what you are saying is against me and because my self-esteem is not very good, I am going to throw away what you are saying. But if I want to criticize you, you should take what I am saying and I will criticize you and tell you how beneath me you are and belittle you and show you you should take what I am saying. What is that? Keep your mouth shut. You may say to me, Uncle Kev, I understand what you are saying, but when I was younger, no one really valued what I had to say. No one really took me seriously. So now that I am older now, you know, I want to express myself even if I have to yell, even if I have to cuss, even if I have to break windows and throw around books and make a big fuss. Is that godly like behavior? Is that the way that God wants us to be? If someone is not accepting what you are saying, stop expressing yourself to that person. If it gets if it gets real bad, stay away from that person. Who says you have to be around that person? You know? We must not behave badly because of how people are. Well, Kevin, you know, you know, I need to say what I have to say, but if it is going to cause so much damage, why do it? If you will begin sinning because someone is not taking what you are saying, why even open your mouth? Just because you don't respond back with what you have to say doesn't mean you agree with what a person is saying to you. I don't have to verbally disagree with a person to disagree with a person. A person can tell me, Kevin, I believe donkeys are rabbits and rabbits are horses and horses are dirt and dirt is the sun. Like a person can be saying things I disagree with, but I don't have to say, no, you are wrong. What you are saying is nonsense. I don't have to say that. If I know a person doesn't have the capacity to act 
properly when they are disagreed with, I should close my mouth. Why should I say that person has a problem? That person has a problem. Okay, I know that. But by me saying something to a person that has a problem, who is the bigger, I don't want to say fool, but who is the bigger, you know, whatever. You know that person is not going to accept what you are saying, but you are steadily trying to persuade that person to see the truth in what you are saying, but that person continues to reject what you are saying and you are doing bad things because there is a disagreement. There is a very heated disagreement. So first, you all are disagreeing with the topic then personal insults then breaking doors breaking lamps throwing around books and doing other unnecessary things why couldn't you have just closed your mouth are you listening well uncle kev i heard that you know, if you stay quiet, that means you are weak. That means you are a punk. That means that you are a loser. That means that, you know, everyone will feel like they can walk all over you. Are you going to go with what the Bible says or what people think? See, I believe the problem is many of us like to be around immature people so when you are around immature people if you are not careful you begin thinking and behaving immaturely as well sometimes you have to stay away from people sometimes you just have to find the right people to be around may be easier said than done you don't have to act like uh i have to be careful with what i am saying you don't have to act like a a donkey just because someone did something wrong to you i don't have to open my mouth all the time i don't have to be proven right all the time I don't have to express my right opinion all the time. What I can do to solve a big issue is close my mouth. Why aren't you closing your mouth? Maybe you don't want to close your mouth because you have too much pride. Maybe you think you are too good to be quiet. So you open your mouth and make worse problems. Stop being prideful. Close your mouth and maybe walk away if you have to. I believe many people we deal with have a demon issue. If a person is strongly influenced by a demon or demons, do you think, you know, I guess on average, do you think you will easily break through and have them uh, persuaded to behave better? That person has demons. If anything, I believe you should fast. You should pray. Maybe read the Bible. Maybe get other people to pray with. Are you listening to what I am saying? Stop making situations worse by opening your mouth. You can do better than that. Walk away. Be quiet. Let God fix the situation. You have already expressed, maybe, to that person that you don't like how he or she is behaving. And they started to talk nonsense to you. They started to play like the victim. They started lying. They started manipulating. Why are you still talking? 
if they are reacting badly to what you are saying and if what you are saying is correct, why are you still talking? Close your mouth. You don't need to be heard. Come to God about it. Open your mouth to God. If anyone, open your mouth to God. Let God do something about it. Obviously, by yourself, you don't have the power to fix it. Your words can't fix it. What, you just going to continue forcing your words on that person? Stop that. Give it over to God. May God bless us.